My name is Dan Kaleke. My great grandfather, grandfather and my father were born here. Our land has a great Yodamo potential. Dan's people are Maasai pastoralists in Suswa, located in the Great Rift Valley. Their land sits on a limitless supply of clean energy, geothermal power. That is green energy being churned out every day. And not just green energy, reliable energy because because geothermal is a renewable source of energy, you are not likely to run out of steam. Costco says the price they paid for power was too high because the land the community was given in exchange is not suitable for their traditional lifestyle based on raising cattle. That's just the price paid today by this small community of Maasai herders. But Kenyan conservationists fear this is going to be a much bigger cost for the country. It's rather sad when you consider that, say, seven of the protected areas in the Central Rift Valley have all been earmarked for geothermal development. So it's pretty much like 100% of all the protected areas have been earmarked for geothermal development. Wangari Madai taught us one thing, nature makes sure that human beings end up being the losers if we destroy it. Nature is very unforgiving. Nature fights back. We are very much changing the entire character of Kenya from being that wonderful Montana, that wonderful open sky country, into an urban, fast, developing hub that will become sort of the business center of Africa. What are you going to trade off? Yeah? Are you going to trade off uh, uh, energy access to displacement of people? Or are you going to trade off uh, having game reserve and game packs uh, with energy access.